was Cy Schwartz. He was a Hasbrook Heights halfback, a little guy, 145 pounds. He was too small to play college ball. He lives in Israel now. He immigrated to Israel, but he worked for the U.S. space program for a while. He still has the Athlete of the Week drawing hanging on his wall. Well, the, the kibbutz over there is hanging on the wall. I have pictures. He sent, he sent a film back on it. And he still has his Hasbro Heights jersey from 1954. Local sports editor was Jerry Delaray. And he was the man who, had, who started the Athlete of the Week. That was his brainstorm. He started with photos and then... Like I said earlier, we went into cartoons after that. I drew the Athlete of the Week from, from, well, from October 1954 and to, into fe mid-February 55, and then they hired me full-time. And so we didn't bring the Athlete of the Week back till about the mid-1960s, I think 67. So there was a, a number of years there, where there wasn't any Athlete of the Week, and I still get complaints about good athletes who played during that period that they weren't Athlete of the Week. <laughs> so anyway, I had all kinds of abuse. Well, one married into the family, Mark Gemke, who was a big baseball player at Westwood High School. So he married my niece, so he's in the family, Mark Gemke from Westwood. And I think the most famous Athlete of the Week was Ed Harris, the actor. He was a terrific Hollywood actor. He was from Tenafly High School. He was a football player. And uh, Ann Donovan was probably the most famous athlete. And she's now just got the job as the head coach of Seton Hall's girls basketball. And she coached girls basketball in the pros in college. You have one day to do it. So that's all the time you have. I, I could stretch out about nine hours. But I honestly can say that all these years of drawing the athlete of the week, I guess it's about 45 years, roughly, something like that. I never had a complaint. A pitcher has a, a pitch that makes it, you know, he makes the majors, he has some kind of pitch. That, that was my high heart one, that, the, the athlete of the week cartoon, because that, that probably kept me in the business all these years. And I, I, I began to see how important it was to the kids. And uh, it's, it's like a fraternity now with these kids, the athlete of the week winners. You know, it's just like a, like a club. They all, the coaches have told me that. Like, uh, lots of directors have told me that, that the big thing the kids want to win is Athlete of the Week.